Hey guys, Dan Hood, Big DH2000 here, doing a little thinking. I thought I'd let you guys in on seeing what I'm doing. You recall the Zorro Slinger developed a design that recently Martin has been making a lot of. Um, decided to sketch out a similar design for myself. I seem to recall one of the big complaints of this design back when it was first made was that you can end up with a substantial amount of hand slap if you don't have everything balanced. Um, so I was wondering if there was curves and angles that could be changed to prevent some of that. Um, also looking at ways I would build this. Um, as you know, the PFS direction is pretty easy. That's pretty standard. Um, this bottom of this handle here, um, it's a little thicker up here than it would be. You know, normally it would come up thinner. Maybe something like this. Would have been what the original design was. I wanted things a little thicker up here because one of the things I've noticed as I've shot is the closer the bands are, like if you look at this as a normal slingshot, the closer the bands are to the top or the middle versus the front, it does tend to help a little with band slap. So I was wondering if a slot and, um, you know, slot, slide the bands in in a slot would work to maybe get it up a little bit or find a way to notch the very end and tie them in. I don't know, I'm just, just spitballing ideas. I also looked, you know, I looked at this, you know, I put my hand on it and I said, that's awfully small for a big hand. So I wondered if, since it is maybe a gunslinger thing, maybe come down a little more. I investigated a couple of options, like continuing that curve. Looked a little too narrow, so then I went further back, brought it out here, brought it back around. Looks a bit more like a gun handle, because uh, this is more supposed to be a quick draw design. I don't know that it'll ever work that way, because uh, pulling it in and out of something like a like a leather pouch isn't that convenient. I also visited these curves a little more, visited this curve a little more, made them a little more, a little better for a bigger finger. Um, also looking to put a pin through there and also make it easy because I can make a template and route the pieces. So there, if I keep the short handle, I would put the lanyard there. If I go with the longer handle, I'll put the lanyard there. Uh, probably not sure which way I'll go with it. But anyway, this is how I think. This is how I come up with ideas. Um, I use some of what's there, adjust it to what I think might work better. And then I put it on a template. And when I put it on the template, I'll probably cut out the bigger one and put the lanyard hole down here and the other hole up there. Hold it. If I don't like it, I'll, I'll still have this glued on it. I'll be able to take it down to there if I want. Get rid of the old lanyard hole, put a new one in. Anyway, just kind of gives you guys an idea of how I think. Hopefully this this helps you out. I believe this is called the Mantis. And it was originally developed by Zorro Slinger. Okay. Now I've obviously modified it a bit, but the basic idea is the same. Um, I'm not too worried about the other direction because that's pretty straightforward PFS shaping. Um, which I'll do once I get the big chunk out. Anyway, take care, guys.